Hello, Shelby County. It's a really cold weekend and we had some snow that was very unexpected. I wanna say a couple of things about that. Back when I went to school, we had two choices. We went to school or we had a snow day. And through technology and a lot of our uh, legislative actions, we have many more options now. And some of you are wondering, how do we choose snow day or NTI day? Well, one of the reasons yesterday was a snow day for sure was because the forecast looked pretty ominous in the afternoon. And yes, the weathermen, they may have missed the timing a little bit, but it's always better to be at home learning or having a snow day than to be at school and having to change our plans in the middle of the day, as well as your plans while you're at work. So we decided early in the morning to have a snow day. And the reason we didn't take an NTI day was because really this snow kind of sneaked into our area and our teachers really were not prepared, our students weren't prepared for an NTI day, like they are on many occasions when we have a forecast you know, fairly early in the week or in the, into the future, they're looking in to see what's happening several days ahead. So it was a great day for a snow day. We hope you enjoyed it and we will see hopefully everybody back on Monday. Now something else that is new is temporary remote instruction. Our legislators have decided and it's a great tool they've given us that we can call one school or even a class or a pod or a wing of a school if there's an outbreak or we would use this when we really have no substitute teachers to fill in. And in the last couple of weeks, everybody, it's been all hands on deck. Central office staff have been there opening car doors, working the lunch line and teaching in the classroom so that we could continue learning. So it's a little better now, our numbers are looking better, but if we get into that situation, we could close one school and not the whole district. So we thank our legislators for that. It's new, it's called temporary remote instruction. Now the second thing I want to talk to you about is extremely important because all of you need to use your voice in what you want to see our school system be for the next four years. This is our strategic leadership plan. It has taken us through the last four years and we will end it at the end of June and start a new plan July 1st. So we are in the process right now of working on what that plan should be. As you can see, last year we worked on all of the things that had not been completed and of course the pandemic did slow some of these things down. So we may be taking some of these actions into the new plan. So if you're interested, we would love to have you. Students, parents, community members, it's a town hall forum at the Blair Center, February 1st at six o'clock. And the last one we had was very well attended, but we'd like more parents, more students, and more community members to be a part of our school system and help determine what it's going to look like through the next four years. Then our third and final meeting will be on March the 1st. We started at the end of November, we'll finish March the 1st, and we'll put this plan into action on July the 1st. So lots of things happening in Shelby County. Our Shelby County School System saluted our Board of Education on Thursday night, and we certainly want to thank them for all of the things they do. This has been an, a unique year and a half for them, and they have weathered the storm greatly. We are so appreciative of our school board. So come on out, check out our page, and you may be getting this and thinking, wow, I didn't, didn't know that this, this newsletter and this video was coming to me in a usual routine manner. We do this every weekend. So if you wanna know what's going on in Shelby County Public Schools, YouTube, and check out our weekly newsletter.